Okay. Um, we're talking about the time, but why do you think so? Um, because your memory is channel four. I think it's I can show my mum this when I go home. I think it's a case of memory of age, but it's channel four. Just to show my mum actually turned up to this appointment. So. I was going to think about putting for the individual space as some interest I could find as well. Okay, yeah. So have you looked at these? They're good now, right? So they're good now, but I just think that we should show something from these dresses yeah. and see where they're... So you get the string between your toes? Do yes, you between the toes and the toes of my feet. Okay. So actually everything's good now, though. there's not much there. There's one blister on the sole of the foot, but it's actually yeah. quite good. Yeah. yeah. So okay, we, we know that on the days it's awful. Uh, this is addressing a <coughs> mum as well, called Intertight Conformable. Mm. And it's basically a two-layer board which has got a shower between it. And have a feel. It's like The Apprentice, though. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, okay. But I, I'm not going to make a million. I'm not going to oh. sell this to you. But you sure? I'm going to it, okay? You're fired. If you <laughs> keep it in the fridge, it... It doesn't yeah. have to be in the fridge, but if you yeah. keep it in the fridge, it gets really, really cold, so it will right. be more soothing when you put it on your mm -hmm. blisters. Um, and you can put it on open blisters or ones that... Do I keep them on there while I put my trainers on, or do I take them off eventually? It'll be best in the evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, when I'm, when I'm at home, I use it. The thing to do is keep it in the, the fridge, keep it nice and cold, cut it into strips, wind mm. it between your toes. Right. And because it is kind of squidgy, it will stay in place. So I sleep with it on, take them off yeah. in the morning? Yeah, you probably. can keep it on anyway, but the problem inside shoes is that sometimes it takes up too much room and then your shoes feel tight. Mm. So we have to leave that up to your choice. But yeah, you can yeah. keep it on as long as it hasn't dried out. It will eventually start to dry out when it's in the air. Right, yeah. Which is why I keep this it's wrapped up. So, so what's that called again? Eventually, we'll wrap it in a little. Oh, it's a site informed. Right. All right, very good. Where does the other blister in come? Well, I think the soles of the feet are going to be difficult to push dressings on, really, because again, the, they will they'll bulk up shoes and they tend to move around on the soles of the feet. So putting a dressing on the soles of the feet isn't always the most practical. Do you get a lot of blisters there? Um, not as much as I used to. Um, okay. um, but my mum insists that I go. Actually, because the last time I was in, I was walking up and down for a whole day, like I went to bingo, I was on the hall, like, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, like, the, the blisters just got painful and the feet mm -hmm. got worse. It took me about an hour to walk home, mm -hmm. like, with none, to walk to the bus stop um, after I finished work. I couldn't even walk to the bus stop. Mm -hmm. It was that painful. But now you're doing a different job and you're not unemployed. I'm unemployed, so I don't really, it doesn't okay, affect me. Really. So yeah. your feet are better. Yeah. So potentially, when you get back mm -hmm. into some sort of work, you might start getting more blistering. Yeah, it depends what the um, is, really. I agree that it's difficult to keep dressings on. Maybe some active form cool. cool. Yeah. Um, again, it's a dressing that you can put in the fridge, because we do find that find something really cold is yeah. a, a really big help for the pain. Mm -hmm. And this particular dressing, again, it doesn't really stay in place well um, without a bandage, which is impractical during the day. Right. But what you can do, if you've got a blister, you've been walking a lot, you come in, you burst the blister, and then get this out of the fridge and put it on and just keep it on all the time you're at home. That one's on the way of drying out. But <laughs> these dressings, as soon as you open them, they start to dry mm. out a little bit. So am I going to get some free samples today? No, I can't no. give you free samples, but we will you get your GP to do that. And then you can yeah. try them, and the ones you like, you ask your GP to give you. Right, right. See oh, okay. if it feels tacky. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it feels tacky, which means it will stay in place. Right, right, yeah. It won't yep. move and cause more blistering, but it, it won't stick and um, damage your skin. Mm. Uh, so you take the white backing off, leave that on there, take it off when when you want to put your shoe on so that, you know, you've got room to put your shoe on. Uh, you yeah. find that that will help with pain. I need to just get a blood test okay. for, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Blistering anywhere else? Or? No, I'm Sorry, you probably answered all these questions yeah, yeah. before I come <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah. Nowhere else? Nowhere else, no. Did Dr. Powell mention to you about um, a cooling spot?
spray called Magic Call. No. Okay, that's a pretty good thing to have for, um, in the car or whatever, so that if you're out and you're uncomfortable, you can just, you know, have you ever felt like you just want to put your feet in cold water to cool them down? Oh yeah, cold salt water. Yeah, well if you can't do that, um, it's called Magic Call, M-A-G-I Call. It's like Dragon's Den, it's really, yeah. is like... And um, you can buy that at Boots or Superdrug or any sort of chemist. Oh, right, yeah. And just spray your feet with it and it's just instantly cold and it will take that sting out. Right, yep. So I think, you know, as a first aid, magical is good. Magical, magical um, spray. Did you talk about cornflower? I talked about cornflower. Cornflower, I didn't talk about, yeah. about silver socks yet. Silver oh. socks? There are some socks that have a silver thread woven into them and oh. the silver conducts heat away so that will try and keep your feet cooler but also it acts against bacteria so if you do Are have you a problem, foil? It, no? it doesn't look like right. foil and you wouldn't oh. even notice it was there oh. um, we can write down for you the type of socks they're not on prescription you would have to buy them Right. Um, do you I've want to put that in the, the letter? I've written them down on these crib notes, oh, I'll definitely okay. put That's them right. in the letter as well. So there's condition of socks. There's also Best for Feet, which is <coughs> a website, and you can buy silver socks. Mm. But some people like one type rather than the other. Mm. So it's Best, letter, or number for feet, all in one. Dot com. Yeah. Probably enough to be going on with them. Next time you come back, 